Yeah, um, so I always wanted uh, to be a climber and, you know, as a kid I always dreamt about the Tour de France. I was never really into um, into one-day races, but um, after playing so many years uh, as in rugby and doing many other sports, I was quite a big build. Uh, and when I came onto the bike, um, as a new pro, for example, I was probably, uh, you know, three or four kilos heavier than I am now. Um, obviously there's puppy flesh, but uh, I was just a lot more muscular around my, my shoulders mainly and my arms. Uh, and when you see actually some of the photos from, from Cofidis, I look more like a bodybuilder than a cyclist. But um, over the years, I also learned about my body and, and I couldn't get the excitement that I was getting in on riding on the flat. You know, with years and getting older, I, I managed to kind of year by year drop a little bit of muscle even though now I think the last five six years I've been very very constant with my with my body it hasn't really changed but especially at the beginning uh, the first few years between 20 and 25 I, saw, I really saw my my body uh, change and finally being able to, to to lose a bit of that uh, shoulder mass that I had from from playing rugby then I decided really in 2000 the winter of 2009 I really decided all right this winter I'm gonna try things different. Uh, no more gym, no nothing, just, you know, no running, just keep on the bike. And and, uh, and I was just a little bit more focused uh, over the winter. Um, also getting older, more experience, and uh, I started to develop a little bit more in, uh, in into what I liked, which was fighting for GC. So I like everything now. Um, I'm not a big fan of the classics. I think that's quite uh, quite clear, uh, especially the spring classics. I like the later classics, so the October classics, or for example, San Sebastian, which is one of my favorite races. But uh, the spring classics, I always find I I struggle. I struggle with allergies. It's I struggle when it's too cold. It's just just the wrong moment. If Liège was in July or August, I'd love it. But uh, unfortunately, as much as I love the actual race, I've never really been very competitive. I've had a I think of twice top 20, but it's not something where I can say oh, I really want to focus for for Liège because I've never never managed to to reach peak form in in April. Mm -hmm.